Mr. Buchholz. Thank you, Chairman, and thank you, gentlemen, for appearing this morning. I, again, I'll just try and limit my line of questioning this morning to credit card interest rates. Um, over the course of the weekend, uh, I, I got the opportunity to speak with a number of people across my electorate um, and credit cards, interest rates in the, in the wake of knowing that we were going to be appearing in this inquiry was front and centre. So I went to church on Sunday morning, then I went to football, and then I went to golf in the afternoon. I only share that with you to give you a spread of the, the person that, personnel that I would have spoke to. I want to, I want to ask, out of the, you know, when we were speaking about credit cards, I'm going to give you the option of suggesting that there was three responses that they potentially gave me. One of them was correct. A, they suggested to me that when we were in, in this inquiry, that as a, as a group that they wanted to see a re, to be able to reduce their limit online for their credit card, or, or B, front and centre was that they wanted to be able to close their credit card online, or C, they wanted a reduction in interest rates. Which do you reckon would have been front and centre of those groups of people that I spoke with over the weekend? Well, Mr Bucolts, I wouldn't like to speculate on exactly what they might have said, but if it's of interest, I'd certainly be happy to talk about uh, some of the improvements that we've made to our credit cards business over the last couple so of years. So to help you out, what they suggested to me is that they'd like to see a reduction in credit card interest rates. Um, you spoke about strength and, and fairness. They spoke about they wanted a fair go. So it, the two are nearly aligned. You're talking about fairness um, in your opening comments and your clients, Commonwealth and credit card holders, are looking for a fair go. You know, they see that the cash rate you know, is at 1.75 and they see that on their credit card statements on cash advances, they're paying an addition of 21%. Um, they link that together with the bank profitability of $4.8 billion, up 6% on the final, uh, on the previous year. That's, and, and that's, I compliment you on, on profits. But now take me to the point of if your clients are asking for a fair go, you're suggesting in your opening comments that you want strength and fairness. How is that fair? So there's a number of things that our customers are asking for, and perhaps I should uh, speak to those. If you could just sleep. contain yourself to the credit card interest rates. Well, to the point on specifically of interest rates, there are 100 credit card providers. There's approximately 250 cards. Uh, amongst those providers, about 50 purchase rates or interest rates. I think that's evidence that there's a lot of competition uh, around credit cards specifically. I'd note that certainly the interest rate that a customer pays is important. Can I, can I just hold you there? I just want to... In, in the statement that Mr Narev made in the last hearings, um, when I asked him about an appetite to reduce credit card interest rates, he said, now the first thing I'd have to say in the market that there are 50 different providers. Are you suggesting since our last inquiry that the market competition has doubled from 50 to now 100, did you just say? Well, there are 100 brands in the market, 250 credit card products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and about 50 different interest rates. Mm -hmm. Sure, sorry, keep going. And so, uh, to that point, actually, we certainly recognise the importance uh, of interest rates to customers. It may be of interest that it, in the credit card inquiry in September 2015, we recommended that uh, zero balance transfer uh, be banned across the industry. Uh, since that time, a number of other things that we did, we have done. In April last year, we began alerting all of our customers uh, about when their payment was due which previously before that customers were enrolling in either SMS or email, now all customers get payment reminders. This has saved tens of thousands of customers millions of dollars uh, in the last 12 months. We think that's a really important benefit. Uh, strategically, we've invested a lot in our technology to make sure our customers are in control of their finances. There's a number of different ways that we've been able to do that. Going back to 2014, we allowed customers to uh, monitor individual transactions, block, for example, overseas transactions to be able to turn off contactless. Uh, in November last year, we added also the ability for customers to reduce their credit limit uh, online themselves. We also set in place spending caps. We've had thousands of customers enrol in those features uh, per week since we did that. So I think they've also been uh, very popular with customers. We're seeing many more of our customers really take control of our their finances, which we think is at the heart of what we should be providing uh, for our customers. This month, we roll out the capability to provide instant receipts. 
uh, to all customers should they like to receive them every time they use their credit card. They get a notification, again, giving them more information. And then we've already commenced work and we expect in the coming months to be able to allow customers to uh, cancel their credit card in, a, in real time using our mobile app. And I think just to, to link that uh, with a specific question, I mean, as you'll appreciate, uh, in a market this competitive, different companies choose to compete on a different basis. Uh, what the Commonwealth Bank's done, not only in cards, but across all its consumer and business products over the last decade, has chosen to distinguish ourselves by investing, well, north of a billion dollars in technology. And so in most products and services we're competing, we want a fair price, but we don't set our competitive position on necessarily being the cheapest. And when there are 100 different providers, customers whose main priority is the cheapest rate possible, and the sorts of features that Matt talk about are less important to them, we'll probably choose a competitive offering. You, Mr Narev, you said that you know, we're always reviewing these things constantly based on the competitiveness of the market and all sorts of factors. You know, since appearing last time, we've seen ANZ and uh, the signalling of, of, of Westpac to reduce their interest rates. Would you suggest that there's enough competition in the marketplace that that would play a, uh, a role in whether or not you, as a bank, had an appetite to remain competitive in that space of interest? Oh, we watch uh, what they do very carefully and what many other uh, people do. Um, you know, we don't, we sometimes follow decisions made by others, we sometimes don't. And for those who want evidence of a competitive market, I think what you'd want to see is that while some decide to cut price and compete on price, we want to invest, uh, again, tens of millions of dollars in technology sometimes charge a bit more, distinguish ourselves on a competitive offering, and that is the way an orderly competitive market functions. Sure. So, but, but we certainly look at what competitors do because we're in a competitive market. It doesn't mean, and, and you wouldn't want it to mean, that we always necessarily do the same thing. No, 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 no. So you've got, you've got ANZ um, clients watching these hearings in Westpac, and, and clearly your own clients, are you signalling to your uh, to your CBA clients that the bank has no appetite to reduce credit card interest rate in this space? Well, you, pre you appreciate I can't give them any guidance about uh, what our future intent is, but what they can be assured of is that when we weigh all the different uh, aspects of what we do, we're very determined to provide a competitive offering. And the performance in the market of that product suggests that uh, many customers are finding that to be the, the product they choose. And by competitive, you're hanging your hat on the fact that your, mark, your, credit, card in, your credit card interest rate will remain competitive because you have reduced, you have created an environment where it's easy for them to reduce their limit online and to close their credit card online. Is that correct? Well, we're giving them features others don't, and for those uh, for whom that's valuable, as with any competitive market, people choose in any orderly competitive market, they make choices, some based on price, some based on other features, some based on a combination of them. Uh, we know that for credit card customers, price is an important factor, um, but we have no strategy to always be the cheapest in the market, and inevitably uh, we will uh, watch what others do and, and make those decisions on an ongoing basis. How much is your, I know you have a number of different products, but can you just give me a range of what your credit card interest rates are at the moment for the Commonwealth? Given yep. that I think ANZ are at 11 and um, Westpac have signalled they're at single digits. They're moving to a single, single digit low frills card. Our low rate card is 13.24%, which is approximately 175 basis points or one7 uh, percent above ANZ. Westpac have signalled a new product which will go along with that interest rate. I don't think it's necessarily a like for like comparison. They did mention it was a low frills card. Yep. So that's your low rate. Your other products? Uh, the low fee is 19.74 and the awards is 20.24. Uh, 20.24 and 19. Is that fair? Is that fair? I think what, what we've got to bear in mind, we, we've had this discussion uh, before and, and uh, I certainly understand where you're coming from on this, but this is unsecured credit. 60% uh, of the customers actually 
pay it off every month. And this is a card with all sorts of features that go beyond the particular interest rate. So, you know, the, the key aspect for us is for people who are only solely concerned about the interest rate, you have the option of being at 13.24%, but you'll appreciate that what we can't do is be in a position where we say you can have that plus the awards, plus all the functionality for a lower rate, so we give people that choice. So let's let's concentrate on the 13%, which is now 2% higher than, than the competition in the market. If if you're at 13% and you're, and you're concentrating on, on, on that space, I still have I still have those groups of people that I mentioned to you over the week saying to me, when I, when I ask them, how much are you paying in your, on your credit card, their they're unanimous response is too much. There is a perception that it is too much. I don't, I just, it perplexes me that there is such a flippancy that it is okay to, for a bank to charge those rates. And, and the second part of that is if you're indicating that 60% of your clients pay their credit cards on time, and that's wonderful, then where is the risk for the bank? Well, I think there, there are a couple of factors here. Number one is um, it, it, walking into any of our branches, uh, speaking to the people who will give, as Matt described, the needs-based assessment. The number one thing we generally do to say to people is credit cards are not a good thing to borrow on. Uh, and what we really ought to start with is that proposition. The facilities there, it's very important for some people. Um, but there are opportunities to maintain financing at lower rates with different products. The credit card, by its nature, and bear in mind that we need, as a bank, as I think we talked about last time, to price these products based on loss experience through the cycle, because you never want a bank reducing rates when times are good, because then it really comes back to the system when times are bad. And I come back to say, for those people who are solely concerned about their rate, if we're not the cheapest in the market, as you would imagine in a competitive market, they will make the decisions they make. So this my, in my last questioning questions, um, the committee's recommended that we. Um, the committee recommends that the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission uh, propose the Australian Council of Competition Policy establish a small team to make recommendations to the Treasurer every six months on the improved competition in the banking sector. ANZ have dropped their interest rates on their credit card two percent, and I commend them for that. And they have agreed to that recommendation. CBA has signalled today that they don't have an appetite to drop their credit card, and is it, am I correct in assuming that you, know, you don't have an appetite for that recommendation for, for competition? Now, as I mentioned to the Chairman, our sole request is that it be done in accordance with the review, the deep review that was done by the Financial System Inquiry, which would have that review done by the Productivity Commission, which we fully support. How easy is it, for, my last question, how easy is it for, for credit card holders that have a Commonwealth credit card to migrate from Commonwealth to ANZ, how easy is it? We're in the process of making it uh, very easy. They'll be able to uh, close their account online with uh, several clicks with no interaction with a person. Uh, we, we see uh, the competitive market on a daily basis. We review our pricing uh, regularly. I think, Mr Bucholz, to your question around what's the risk, even in, I think, what we'd all would say a, a very uh, positive economic times. In the retail bank in FY uh, 2016, we disclosed a loan impairment expense of $650 million. I can't give specific individual disclosure to that number, but I can assure you the vast majority of that relates to consumer finance, which is unsecured credit cards and personal loans. So even in very benign economic conditions, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars of loss experience. We have to price our products today on the basis that that's not necessarily indicative of the economic cycle I've, we're I've going run to out of time. Into. I've run out of time, and I need to give my colleagues the opportunity to pursue a line of questioning with you. Um, I just would flag that I will stay in this space until I think that I've seen fairness, because I'm at odds when you come in here and you say to me that, that, that it's fair, and I have people in my community saying they want a fairer go. They want to see a reduction in this space. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bucol.